Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Today coming to you in 60 FPS. I actually forgot I changed my recording format. Uh, things should be a lot smoother now since last video, which if you didn't see that, that was Space Engine. Took a quick look, we will be doing more stuff in Space Engine, don't worry. Because there is a ton of stuff I haven't looked at there. But today we're going to go back to the classic old destroying the world because you know what a lot of changes have been made to explosions and physics in this game so I figured a good way to pull in some nice views and have some fun is just to destroy the world I mean let's be honest the two most popular videos on this channel are um destroy earth and bye bye earth and they both have a few interesting features um they don't actually use a game picture for their thumbnail and they actually have really simple tags so i'm gonna try to copy that and if this video does well we know that well i found a small trick to make a video do well and here we go and don't copy me <laughs> that's fine and here we go we've got some nice giant chunks of rock flying out from this collision this was mercury versus earth and we can already see a lot of damage on earth's surface uh some serious craters all over the place and let's see what things look like after the damage is gone it's like earth got shot for a shock with the shotgun there um i see a tiny bit of water left on the surface but now there isn't and if we just wait we are at 544 degrees and we're beginning to cool down rapidly 400 300 200 100 water is back and oh geez Sorry, Zucor, I cannot answer a call right now. <laughs> okay, so now if we go here, let's just make this something, uh, well, not boiling the oceans off. And let's turn down the time so thousands of years aren't going by every second. And we're good about now so we can see even with earth frost and there are a lot of craters all over the place but let's just heat things up and we should see any moment now okay what happened to the continents so everything looks good over the oh well we do have a rather large lake in the middle of south america the East Coast of America did survive, so I'm still alive, but uh, everything west of the East Coast, until you hit about uh, Colorado, Kansas-ish, uh, maybe a little bit further left than that, uh, but you know, California survived, so all the famous people in Google are still there, so, you know, yeah, great, just, just fantastic. Um. You know, wow, Indonesia is actually connected now. Uh, Australia has grown a bit because of the uh, water level going down. Um, Japan and China are actually kind of connected. Anything else? Well, a few, a few seas are gone. And now a few countries are actually connected together. Um, including... The UK! Hey, look at that, the UK is actually connected straight onto France. Huh, the English Channel. Nobody's gonna be swimming across that anymore. Ireland is still slightly cut off, though. Uh, there's a few land bridges across. Um... Oh, jeez, what have I done? Well, it looks like I've broken that. Anyway, we'll go on to the next destruction slash explosion slash thingy and this is going to be earth versus mars earth's best friend except it's basically killing earth now so like it's getting stabbed in the back mars is just jealous of earth's life you know so that's how it works and we're going to have a collision in three 
two, one, bam. Okay, so we can see that already about a fourth of the world has been annihilated. Shockwaves going off everywhere, debris flying out, and pretty much the same as last time actually, so I'm not going to really bother doing much except for, you know, everything's glowing, molten on fire. So let's go on to our second way to destroy the world, which is a bit more fun. What we can do is get a really big black hole, which we're actually going to shrink. We're going to grab the radius and we're, oh, we're actually going to lock the mass and turn down the radius, which is going to make it get really small just by raising the density. And once this gets thoroughly uh, lower, we'll just raise it here. That should be faster. And any second now, it'll be small enough to do this easily. Oh, I can color black holes. Well, that seems like a completely useless feature, but you know, if you ever want to color something you can't see, there you go. Now we have this black hole. We're going to get Earth, and no, Earth is still extremely small compared to it so let's just turn this into one kilometer now earth is really big compared to this black hole but the black hole still has way 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 way, way more mass and that's okay because that's what's going to cause the rush limit to kick in which is going to rip apart the world or just fling it there we go this earth is actually able to hold on and if you can't see that the world is actually kind of spontaneously combusting because of the forces that are being well it's being just ripped apart from the strength look at that just a spontaneous combustion of entire countries it's moving so quickly it's hitting its own debris oh here we go now it's being ripped out and we are leaving a ring behind if you can't see all those little uh, asteroids everywhere that is earth oh look at the ring <laughs> oh, poor earth being just completely demolished and it's hitting all of its own uh, it's kind of like punching itself in the face over and over and over millions of times and earth is actually shrinking 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 now earth is actually comparable to the uh, particles themselves um except it's hitting them at the same rate that it's losing them now so i don't think earth is ever going to really die it's just going to stay at this size which is about three times the size of the moon yeah we're staying a pretty steady there so we have this nice ring of just death of the earth and um yeah we have officially destroyed the world um i think we can all agree that this is enough carnage what's a black hole oh there it is and if we delete this we everything's just going to go flying Ta-da! Okay, let's destroy Earth another way, because there's a lot of creative ways to do this now. And we're going to use the nice old explode tool. So let's just put Earth down. We'll even put the moon down. I'm... Uh, no one complain. I'm not going to put the moon realistically away. I'm going to put it actually pretty close so that it's affected by this pretty strongly. And now we are just going to use the explode tool on the earth. We're going to slow things down. Quite a bit. We'll make this happen in real time. And there we go. The earth is now, uh, well, exploded. And if we speed things up a bit... The moon is now going to be hit with a lot of debris, um, considering it's the only thing with a gravitational pull in the area, although oh, the, the shockwave has hit the moon and it is actually ripping the moon apart a little bit. 
I think the moon's actually gonna lose a lot more than it gains. Rip moon. Rest in peace. Now, 2,000 degrees? Yeah, almost three. Well, we had a slight unexpected stoppage of recording, but that's fine considering I didn't do that much afterwards. I did notice this time. So let's quickly just do what I did already. Uh, we're just going to take the same thing as before, but we're going to reverse it. So we're going to have the moon explode around Earth and see what sort of damage that does. And... Oh, I see how it stopped. When I tried to hit escape, I must have accidentally hit the G key that records. Well, part of getting used to a new keyboard. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to turn things down until we have about one second. Actually, let's go really far down so that we can actually see the real explosion. And explode. Oh my god, we still couldn't see the explosion. It's way too fast. Way too fast. But that's fine. And now we're just going to speed things up so that we can actually see the damage. So right off the bat, we have a ton of debris hurtling towards Earth, and actually some pieces of debris are ripping themselves apart, making even more debris. <laughs> Ooh! We have actually already gotten a giant chunk of the moon crashing into Earth, sending a shockwave all the way to the other side. And now we have a bunch of small impacts. Ah, Canada. Canada has been hit. Oh, another hit in the back. Jeez, I keep missing all these giant collisions. Oh! Oh, jeez, I wish I could actually... Okay, so Africa has been hit pretty... Oh, South Africa doesn't exist anymore. South America has been hit pretty hard. And if we speed things up and allow more collisions... Ah, oh, we have quite the ring. And what is the damage like? Um, well, I can see a giant crater there. South Africa's been hurt. North America has been slightly hurt. Well, surprisingly enough, most of the debris has actually stayed in orbit around Earth. So, you know, let's just... Whee! Oh, whoops, not that! Oh, shoot. Woo. Just shoot a million Earths at each other. What could possibly go wrong? You know, just... Destroy everything. I mean, at this point, I've destroyed a lot of... A lot of life. I mean, the amount of Earths... Just not even including humans, like... Jeez, I'm a terrible person. Let's just go and uh, do, do something a little bit, you know, less crazy. We'll just do Earth and let's throw it at something bigger than itself for once because we've been given Earth a uh, easy to. Oh, is America big? See, my completely uh, realistic scaling means that America is actually almost as big as Earth, but it isn't. How about CEL? There we go, that's bigger than Earth. This is actually a Nerdcraft reference, which is my server um and here we go the collision the collision of a lifetime considering that earth is actually going to be destroyed china is going to take the first hit here goodbye china russia entire world uh well CL is actually not taking too much to never mind <laughs> pretty much all of the landmass on the planet has actually been hit with <laughs> meteors um the ocean sides doing pretty well these islands are fine you know just everything else isn't and after everything's done oh shoot a piece of debris hit it even after it had basically healed well, that sucks. Rest in peace. Let's just cool things down a bit.
We'll keep them kind of warm so that everything doesn't instantly freeze. Um, a lot of the land mass is now gone. Actually, pretty much all the land mass is now gone. If you guys saw it before... Oh, wait. It collided with Earth. That means it must have gotten a lot more water. Yep, that's our problem. If we turn down the water amount, we can see comparable amounts of land before. It's just it kind of was like global warming, complete flooding everywhere at once. But look at that. It's great. Earth has now been absorbed by another life holding planet. It's like the cycle of life, except with planets. Um. If I can find, yeah, let's just have Spook Vooper eat that. Because Spook Vooper needs to appear in every episode, of course. If you don't understand the Spook Vooper meme, then I, I can't really help you. you. You just have to watch more from this channel. Spook Vooper is where every subscriber lives, so if you want to uh, live on the beautiful Spook Vooper, the great, the kind of ugly right now because the entire ocean is gone. Just just give it a second. Oh jeez, it, it's been really messed up. Um So let me grab it again before it's all destroyed. Okay, so if you guys are interested in living here, uh, oh jeez, now it's frozen. Everything's going wrong. This is like my sales pitch. Come on. Thaw. Thaw already. There we go. All you have to do is like this video and subscribe and I will uh, secure your uh, house on uh, th this island right here. This one. Yes, you will get your very own house right here. And this is, uh, Spook Vooper is 212 times the size of Earth, so this is actually like the size of Australia, you know? Maybe not that big, but this is a pretty big plot of land, at least bigger than the United Kingdom. And uh, you'll get a house here, all of you, from this video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and sub if you want to live on Spook Vooper. And sorry, but all of you previous subscribers, you're all going to get blown up now. Just to make the perfect outro. Hashtag perfect outro equals a giant explosion. Is that the biggest I can... Huh. Well, it appears I've broken everything. So I'll shut this off now. Shoot, that's not the button.